Hello, my name is John and welcome to my Game Trade One channel. And in this video, I'll be reviewing the EverDrive 64. This is a flashcard, just came out recently and I got it on a website called Stone Age Gamer. I believe they're the exclusive holder or seller of these cards, at least in North America that I'm aware of. And it's a really cool cartridge and it enables you to play N64 ROMs on it through your N64 system. So let's, without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the cart. Let's see how it works and how it plays games. The EverDrive 64 uh, cartridge. This is the deluxe edition. This is the clamshell it comes with. It retails for $174.99. I know what you guys are thinking, that is a lot of money to drop for something like this. However, it's really cool, it does a lot of cool features, so bear with me, watch the review, and see for yourself. There is an option later on that they're going to have the board only, and that's going to retail for $104.99, but that's not out yet. This is the only version that, that's out. It came out on July uh, 13th of 2001 this year. So let's see, check out the clamshell itself for the case. You got the Everdrive 64 logo, Stone Age Gamer logo. This is the, the Cuppy Laboratories, this is the Crick. ZZ.com, K-R-I-K-Z-Z.com, that's the, the, the guy who actually developed this. You can see a nice little site here. On the back it shows you what the flash card can do. And basically a flash card enables you to play ROMs through the cart on your system. So it doesn't necessarily emulate the game because it plays it like another any cart would do. It just, it, it's convenient, I, I like this for the convenient factor as well. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. I know emulators are a huge thing. Uh, it's a big controversy in the gaming community. A lot of people like to play emulators. Some people don't like to play emulators. There's gamers out there that all they do is play ROMs and emulators and they have a main cabinet and all that good stuff. And there's people out there who are true and just want to collect for the purpose of collecting and play the games that they collect for. I, for one, like this for the convenient factor. I only have ROMs that I own the actual game for. I don't necessarily download ROMs I don't own games for. I'm a collector and a gamer, so I'd much rather have a, a tangible copy of the card. The box would be preferable instructions. I, I like going out in the hunt and finding games. So this stuff that happens like this in my collection will not deter me from collecting other future N64 games. I think ROMs are cool in the sense that games that aren't necessarily available uh, to the consumer, for example, Mother 3, fans have translated that into English, and that's cool. So, you know, to play Mother 3 in English, that's, that's awesome where you wouldn't be able to do that uh, you know, in any other situation. Uh, I'm a big fan of that, obviously, so that, that's a big, big plus. But this is, let's open up this card right here. Okay. And I'd love to hear you guys' opinion as far as ROMs and stuff. I know it's a huge controversial thing. Uh, it comes with two vouchers for a free firmware upgrade voucher. You put your, your serial number in there and you download it. It comes with a sticker, Everdrive 64 sticker, nice classy high quality, comes with Stone Age Gamer sticker as well, Gaming Devolve, really cool logo. Comes with a nice high quality manual, full color, talks about the other EverDrives available. You got the Super EverDrive for the Super Nintendo, you got the EverDrive for the Mega Drive or Genesis, the Game Gear one, and there's more coming. Talks about the Nintendo 64 controller and the buttons. If you're not familiar with the controller and you're about my age, shame on you, you should know that. Uh, just joking, but uh, it talks about the game saving. It basically allows you to save games through uh, different, you got the EEPROM 4K, you got the EEPROM 16K, or uh, SRAM, SPRAM, but it does not do flash RAM, so any ROMs that use flash RAM to save games, that will not work. For games like Zelda OOT, uh, actually you have to reset the system before you turn it off, uh, because the reason you do that, because for that game particularly, it actually saves onto it wants to save it onto the card where it should be saved onto the SD card. So not a big deal. You just have to reset it and then turn off your system. So if you have that ROM, that will work. Okay. So that's what it comes with. Kind of explains the different, you know, what what the card's all about, how to load games, frequently asked questions. So it's pretty nice. Here is the card itself. It's it's a nice charcoal gray, dark gray, and it is vinyl dyed which means they didn't really necessarily spray paint it, they actually dyed it, you know, this dark gray color, and they took it from a donor cart, they, they took the stickers off, they put on their new EverDrive sticker, high quality, uh, you got the black, you got the gold label here, you got my serial thing, this is a Gamester GM STR, which is customized to me, that's what I need when I ordered it, this is where the SD card would plug into, it not only takes SD cards, it also takes, according to the back here, SDHC cards, it takes MMC cards as well. 
a nice operating system manual, which is true. It comes with this, this card here, SD card. This is the 8 gig one. This is the one that comes with it. You have options to actually upgrade to 16 gig and 32 gig SD cards for mem more memory, which will cost a little bit more to do that. Also, the nice thing about this uh, this device here is it enables you to play games that are region lockout. So you can play ROMs uh, that are released Japanese ROMs on here. You can play PAL ROMs on here. The thing about PAL ROMs though is it's going to play sometimes, it depends on the system, it will play in a gray scale. I'll show you an example of that. So it will play, but sometimes it's in a gray, black and white scale. The Japanese games work great. And it's not necessarily the, the cartridge itself that plays it in the grayscale or does that, it's a system. So some systems do and some don't. My particular N64 uh, does play in grayscale, unfortunately. So I guess it depends on what model you have, if it's an earlier model or a later model. Um, and also, another interesting fact is Japanese and PAL N64 cards are slightly different. So if you're looking to purchase this, if, you're, if you live in a PAL region and you're looking to purchase this uh, in, for your systems there, it's going to cost a little bit extra. I think it's about $20 extra to do that. In Japan, same thing. It's going to be about $15 extra. And the lockout chip itself, all N64 cards have a lockout chip, uh, basically. Uh, and, and what the lockout chip, most of them are 6102, NTSC 6102, except for two. And that's Banjo 2 Wii, and it's also Jet Force Gemini. Those two games are the only games that will not work on here. That's actually 6105 is a lockout chip. In, in Europe, or PAL versions actually, the lockout chip's different, 7101. So that's why the extra cost is involved with, with those particular cards. Uh, nonetheless, it's really cool. Uh, the deluxe edition does come with a lockout chip. The board only version does not come with that, so keep that in mind. Let's see how this thing works as far as loading ROMs onto it, and let's see how it plays. Okay, so I'm here I am at my Mac. This will work again on PC. It doesn't really change, everything's pretty much the same. What I've done is I've put my uh, SD card into my Mac and I've downloaded some ROMs. Here it is right here. And you just Google ROMs, they're pretty easy to find. Just Google like ROMs for N64 ROMs. And I put it in here, I've downloaded, unzipped them and I put them in here. And all I need to do is open up my EverDrive uh, SD card, which is this one over here. And I'm just gonna drag them over here. Click and drag, hold and click. It's going to transform pretty easy. These are games I already own. We've got Zelda, we've got Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and one of my favorites, GoldenEye. And that's all you do. Once you're done, you have to eject your SD card, and that's it. It's pretty much, very simple. That's that's pretty much all it takes. Here's the main menu. We've got the, the ROMs I've loaded onto the SD card, which is in the cartridge. The cartridge is obviously at this point in the system. And it loads the games fairly fast. It loads at three to four megabytes per second. So that's, that's fairly fast. And we're gonna fast forward here to Goldeneye. And I really didn't see any anything wrong with the way this game ran. Uh, the color was, was was spot on, the sound was spot on, the, the, there's no lag. As I mentioned briefly in the video before, this isn't an emulation, it doesn't emulate the game, it's a ROM. So it's gonna play just like the other cartridge. Side by side, you really can't see a difference. There is no difference. In addition to the N64 ROMs you can play on the EverDrive 64, you can actually expand your library and you can also play NES ROMs through a special emulator that run work on the N64 hardware, as well as Game Boy ROMs, believe it or not. These are still fairly new. Uh, the instructions on how to do this are included in the manual that come with the game. However, the NES emulator is not that great from what I hear, and the Game Boy emulator actually has no sound. So really, to me, I'm really going to stick with the N64 ROMs, but it's kind of nice to know that they're available so you can expand your hardware and your library that way. Moving on to Super Mario 64, I think most of us are probably familiar with this game. As you can see, the game loaded fairly fast. And this is this brought back a lot of good memories uh, playing this game because it's been a while since I've played Super Mario 64, to be honest with you. It's been several years, but I remember playing this game when I first got the N64 when it first came out and stayed up with my friend all night and beating the game together. And it was a lot of fun. So again, this game played great, uh, just just like playing the cartridge. Previous EverDrive cartridges for other systems, including the EverDrive, the Super Nintendo, the Game Gear, the Genesis slash Mega Drive cards, they all were copy the games into uh, F RAM memory, FRAM memory. Uh, however, the EverDrive 64 
copies of games onto an SRAM. And there's an upside and downside to that. The reason they did that is because SRAM is, is much more fast uh, than the, the FRAM. And due to the size of the N64 ROMs, it would have been very slow on, on FRAM. In addition, uh, the downside is the games do not stay in memory after you power down the N64. Not to worry, you can still save your games as I mentioned before. You just have to load your save slot. Moving on to Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's one of the best games for the N64. As I mentioned before, with the PAL games, sometimes, depending on the N64 system you have, North American system, they will run on a grayscale as you see here. Now, vice versa, it's not an issue. If you have a PAL and you want to run North American ROMs, it's not an issue. If you have a Japanese N64, you want to run PAL games, it's not an issue. Only on certain North American systems you, you, you get into this. That's not a huge issue because there aren't many PAL exclusive games available, uh, but it's not necessarily the cartridge itself, it is the system that causes this. You know, overall, I think this is a really, really cool cart. Uh, it is not cheap uh, at 174 nearely $175. Uh, so it's definitely an investment, but if you're a diehard Nintendo 64 fan, you're looking to put all the games that you currently own onto one cartridge for convenience factor, or you're looking to play games that were not available in your region, maybe exclusive Japanese titles, this is definitely an option to look at. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll put a link to Stone Age Gamer below. And I'd like to know, guys, what is your favorite Nintendo 64 game ever? So write your comment below. Thank you.